ideally we wouldn't even need any tools to exist in this planet we would just know but we've been conditioned ever since we were born to forget <laughs> have you heard molly mccord no she's an astrologer she does weekly astrology podcast they send it to me and she makes really 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 good weekly astrology reports mm. and she did one about the pisces new moon and like letting go of the limiting beliefs and coming into our own knowledge with the, the with Gaia and the cosmos and returning to that. It's really good. Okay, so what's your what's your background? What's my background? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is the trust map. It's uh, in the middle is the full trust zone. And then all these different aspects of building trust. So at the top, it's by integrity. So if you have high integrity, it's full trust zone. If low integrity, it's outside of that. The future one, you either have a lifelong relationship or no future. Can you read that? No, <laughs> I'm up here. <laughs> <laughs> Reliability scale, are they very reliable or no follow-up? Belief scale, you got shared beliefs versus conflicting worldviews. Skill sale, skill scale. You're very high, highly competent versus very low competence. Experience, do you have mutual respect or did they do a deal breaker? And comfort scale, very uncomfortable versus comfortable. And then understanding scale of shared context or no understanding in each of these is a spectrum that people can use to see how much they trust somebody. This is the map that was used in Luciel. Oh, cool. So uh, 150 people use this. It was the first time it was been used. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I used it with this team that I'm on and we all talk using it as, as what builds trust and what doesn't. And it went really well, really good conversation. What conclusions did you guys come to at the end of the class that what builds trust and what doesn't? I think most people are pretty pissed off or lose trust when someone doesn't do what they say they're going to do. That's what I heard on my team. And competence is, a, is a, probably the bigger one. Um, some people had them all. But everyone sort of, uh, by seeing what everyone's deal breakers were or just hearing people talk about trust, it had me feel more accountable to the group, had me more, you know, shit. You know, I can't be a flake here. These guys, <laughs> I, I can be flaky. It's funny because when you're reading that, I was like, I don't, I'm such a flake. I don't think anyone really trusts me anymore. <laughs> <I know. laughs> yeah. I can be flaky, but I, I feel like I had a chat with my friend last night. They're, they're just very intuitive person. We went up for lunch and they were like, I feel like you are a scatterbrain flake. Because you, instead of having a teaspoon of your emotions when you grow out in the world, you just have this giant pot and then you constantly overwhelm yourself because you're not deflating your emotions down to be able to coexist. You're just taking everything in all the time. Oh, wow. I was like, that's why I canceled last week. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> wow. God, your generation is, is good with the insights and feedback. Oh, I had the best insights last yesterday with this friend. We chatted for an hour. They called me out on everything. They told me that I need to end my relationship with both these people because I keep repeating the same pattern because I'm looking for something in these people. But if I'm not taking a step back, then I'm, I'm just going to keep hurting everyone else around me because I haven't figured the root of my cause. And so I'm just going to keep going at it and then just keep feeding this root. And if I don't take the time, I don't know. That's That sounds... Sounds good. Yeah, they also said some other stuff. They said I was malnourished, so I get some fish, 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 fish powder after. I don't know. What does that have to do with it? I don't know. <laughs> you had fish powder after, <laughs> so it didn't sit so well, maybe. I actually, I got pissed off after they called me out on everything. I, yeah. they, I said I'm leaving by, and then I ran. I just really? ran. I literally just ran. Like I ran all the way from downtown to my house. Like I just, they were yelling, Brooke! Oh, and I just didn't turn around. I didn't look at them. I just fucking ran. I haven't done that in so long. I haven't left someone on the street and just ran in such, in probably a couple of years. I just, I just needed to go and I ran. 
So on the one hand, you're running to meet the man. And on the other hand, you're running away from someone who's holding you accountable about what's happening with the man. Yeah. And then I apologize after we're going to hang out at five. <laughs> <laughs> Holy smoly. I, it was a lot to process. What do you think of this map? I think everything on this map is things that I've done to break trust with people. <laughs> and it makes me want to be a better person. Huh. It, prints it also out, makes you feel... It prints out on 11 by 17. Like all the maps print out nice on card. Go to the printer. Mm -hmm. I'll send you the file. And on cardstock, 11 by 17. Costs like $2. And you can... It's a good gift, right? Give it to somebody. Yeah, and that's also like a good thing for discussion. Like if you're sitting with someone having a in one on one space, yeah. and maybe you did something that upset them, and you're having a conflict resolution, or they're trying to set a boundary with you because they're losing trust, you yeah. bring that out and maybe even do some writing prompts and just sit and have an, like an open, like cacao elixir conflict resolution trust mat. And you can figure out what is trust to them and what is trust for you in ways that you can build the relationship stronger authentically. Mm. Here, I'll send it to you in uh, Facebook.